started by reviewing a couple things. I'm going to start by showing you how to download a picture from your Google Drive. All right, so I, on my Google Drive, uh, here are my light painting photos that I have downloaded from uh, students' folders and put into this collection. So let's say I want to um, work with this abstract pink one. All right, so I double click to preview it and then I hit that download button to download it. Remember, you have to tell it where to go uh, because it doesn't know where to go. So from the downloads folder, I can move it over into my folder. Uh, you can have more than one finder window open. If you right click where it says finder, you can do a new finder window and then you can have two finder windows open. So I will do this uh, sometimes so that I can have my folder open and the downloads folder open. So here's the folder that I downloaded uh, and then I'm going to bring it over to my folder that has my name on it on the computer. I'm going to hide Chrome and then I want to open that photo in Photoshop. So from Photoshop, I am going to do File Open. Go to my folder where I put the picture. And now for this project, the first thing I need to do is create some symmetry. So to do that, I'm going to duplicate this picture. I'm going to work from the same canvas. You can see that my image is really nice and big. Uh, it is 5,184 pixels wide, so that's nice and big. Right now I'm viewing it at 16%. You can type right into this little box down here. Like if I wanted to view it at 100%, I could type in 100 and hit enter. If you want to fill your screen, you can hit command zero. First step, I'm going to unlock this layer. Then I am going to uh, free transform it. So remember, free transform is Command T, where it's under the edit menu. I want to make it 50% smaller, width and height, so I have that link that connects them both. And I'll type in 50. Check mark it or hit enter. And then I'm going to move it um, up and to the left. So I could decide to repeat it in all four. Uh, or I can just uh, mirror it vertical. Um, so I'm going to try duplicating it in all four corners. So I'm going to uh, duplicate this layer. That's a right click and duplicate layer. OK. I'm on my move tool so I can move my layers around. And then I can edit, transform, and flip vertical. Now it is mirroring. If you want to tighten up that connection, use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Go. Okay, so now I want to mirror both of these, and I'm actually feeling like I might want this over here. So shift key allows you to select more than one layer, so now I can move both of these together. Now I'm going to duplicate both layers. Hit OK. So duplicated both those layers, move those over. And um, use my arrow keys, tighten that up, and then I want to edit, and then transform, and then flip horizontal. So now I'm creating some real symmetry here. So if I want to move all of these layers together, I can do that. Make some micro changes about their placement here. Um, that's fine. If you want to make sure everything is aligned, there's actually a tool for that. So if I have these both selected, you will get up here at the top. Um, these are all ways to align. So if you want to align to uh, right side, you do that. If you want to align along the axis. So if I want these two to be aligned on that axis. If I want the uh, top two command and then select those two layers and then I could do align to the top and then if I wanted these two uh, choose the two bottom ones and then uh, align to the top um, and then we can align them that way okay sorry uh, this 
the fact that I can see the tiniest bit on this is driving me just a little crazy. So I'm going to use my crop tool, uh, clear this just so it says ratio, but clear it so it doesn't have anything in there. Um, and then I can crop this so that I get rid of that tiny little bit that is showing. Okay. All right, so now I've got some interesting symmetry. Before I go any further, I'm going to save it. So save as, so it's going into my Bowen folder and I'm going to call it blending modes and make sure that you um, are including your name in it. So blending modes and then your name, make sure it has .psd and it's a Photoshop file so that you are keeping the layers. And then hit OK. All right, now I want to bring in another layer. So I need another picture to open. So let's say I'm going to pick, try to pick things that are a little bit maybe um, not super graphic and representational, but you can because you can mirror things, any, any, any things that you want. All right, move tool, and I'm going to click, hover, and then release when I get to the image. And then same thing, I'm going to mirror this, so I'll drop it by 50%, move it into the upper left, and apply it. And then I'm going to uh, duplicate it. And then I want it to be mirrored. So I'm going to edit, transform, flip vertical. Now it's mirrored. Now I want to select both of those by holding down the shift key. Duplicate. And then I can move them. And then I want to do edit, transform, and uh, flip horizontal. So now it is mirrored that way. Okay, so now I have these four layers together above these layers. So I'm going to try blending modes. So let's see what multiply looks like. No, nope, way too dark. We need to lighten some stuff. So we're trying to communicate a mood or a message, uh, something with emotion. So if I wanted it to look like really dark and angsty or angry, I might go for something like this. If I wanted it to look uh, lighter and brighter and happier, um, I'm going to choose brighter colors. Um, so you want to make something that is intentional, uh, but also just something that looks cool. Let's see. So let's say I, I stay there, but I don't, I don't like the orange color in there. Maybe I want the orange to be more blue. So I can add adjustment layers in here as well. So I could go back in and I could add a color balance adjustment layer and I could change the colors and then I could clip it. So it's affecting everything below it. So if I hit this button, I can clip it and it's gonna only affect this one layer. So watch this one lower right hand corner as I move this slider. So I could change how these colors are, are interacting. If I want things to come out, uh, maybe like more red. Uh, maybe that's not working for me at all. So I can delete that layer and I can add a different adjustment layer. Let's delete that. Uh, let's say I want to add a, um, A, a hue and saturation and then colorize so colorize will apply a color to everything but say I only want it to be applied to this layer so I have to clip it so again keep your eye on this layer down here lower right because it's the layer that I've clipped it to so whatever I pick here is going to be affected so if I want it to be blue and more intense something in there uh, if I want it to be, be a bright orange. So I could uh, repeat this. So I can duplicate this adjustment and clip it to each layer that it's above. So duplicate these layers and put them above the layers that I want them to affect. 
So right click, duplicate, and then move it so that it's above the layer, and then just clip it to each layer so it won't affect the layers that are down here. And then because they are adjustment layers, uh, you can delete them or change your mind about them at any time. Okay, so I need to add a third picture. So you need to add at least three pictures. So let's say I want to add this heart picture. So I'm on my move tool. I'm going to click it. I'm going to drag it over here. And I want it to be at the top of my pile so it's not being affected by the other stuff. All right, um, I want to free transform it. So hit that link. Let's say I'm going to make it 50% smaller. Let's continue this effect, but maybe I'll just do it right in the middle. So duplicate. I have two layers now. And then edit, transform, flip vertical. Um, I want to resize both of these layers maybe. So move it down. I could make them both bigger. Oh, no, we'll leave it like that for now. So blending modes. Maybe, let's see. Well, that's looking weird. Hmm. I don't like it. Okay, so the goal here is that you are learning how to manipulate your layers. You're learning how to move things around. Uh, you don't need to be making any selections. Uh, you are using the crop tool. You're using adjustment layers. You're using blending modes. Those are the things that we have learned so far. I'm going to delete these because uh, I, I want to add something else. So I want to see you trying multiple things. So keep saving your work. So make sure once you've saved it with a name and in a location, you can hit Command S as the keyboard shortcut. So you need to have at least three different images. You need it to be symmetrical and you need to use the blending modes so that you're communicating some sort of emotional message. Like, is it happy or sad or angry? Um, how are your colors that you're choosing or your images that you're using communicating that?